Okay, a video right now for Mr. Royal Flush. Uh, okay, here's uh, the loadouts. Where are we? We're on the assault. Okay, I've got three. Obviously, every every class has got three different ones. So for this one, I've got uh, a shotgun setup. Uh, an assault which is very similar to each other. The only thing that's different between those two is uh, Gadget 1. I've got the AT rocket for distance uh, attack on a, an enemy vehicle or something. And this one, of course, is to set the trap. Of course, if you know when enemy vehicle is going to be coming in your direction or if you're planting it in the spawn or whatever, perfect. Bang a couple of mines down three at a time if you put any more than three down I mean it'll stay there until until you respawn uh, stay there in, into your next spawn if you put another one down then the first one you put down disappears so you can only put three down at a time but rest assured even if you change class or whatever uh, I've had kills fucking 20 minutes into a game after I put a fucking uh, anti-tank mine down at the beginning of the game and I'm like what the fuck oh, I thought oh Christ yeah I put that down the ages ago anyway onto the guns uh, as you want to know the hell regal is only unlocked at level 10 in the assault class so it takes a little bit of work to get there it's not too bad to get to level 10 really just uh, a few days knowing you <laughs> uh, so yeah the, the hell regal's probably the one that everybody tries to play for everybody tries to get once you've got it, they don't usually change it because it's just the best gun out there. As you can see on the right there, you've got 60 per per mag, uh, 120 rounds altogether. Uh, and I've got 32 service stars, so that means I've got 3,200 kills at least with it. Uh, in the meantime, what you want to do is, I think the MP18 is uh, very, it's either unlocked already or very early unlocked. Uh, oh look that's the one I've obviously played with the most uh, so it means I've had to get 400 kills with it uh, and then I've obviously moved on to the, the hell week off class so it's not too many fucking kills really uh, I mean, I'm not sure how far off you are so the MP18 trench is probably the best one uh, I don't get on with some of the other stuff like uh, like this all, the automatic goes more of a uh, it's more of a, a, a hip fire gun that I think obviously these are shotguns uh, and these are some uh, DLC guns that have been released afterwards uh, and there's shotguns uh, yeah shotguns as well yep so yep uh, for now go with uh, either where is it that one uh, and I have used the optical a bit there. You can see I've got one service star with that as well. So, uh, yeah. So that's, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have a, a shotgun loadout as well. Model 10, probably the best shot, uh, shotgun out there. Uh, one of the newer ones. I can't remember which one it was now. I think it's that one. Is that a shotgun? Yeah. That's quite a quick firing shotgun. It's uh, wait, a Fire 164. What, what's the Model 10? Uh, rate of fire 78, yeah. So this is uh, a very quick shot, one, but you need two bullets to uh, kill, whereas uh, the Mod 10 is, is a one-bullet shot, really. I, I generally quick scope with it, you know, uh, just to get the, the, the range on it. So I'm bang, quick, quick scoping, uh, zooming in, and pressing fire button instantly. Uh, I've got two different things there. Okay. Right, anyway, um, that's the wrong way around, isn't it? That's going to confuse me. Sorry, bear with me. Let's just swap these around. We'll be pressing now, for fuck's sake. There we go. Because I'm going to be pressing left and right, the wrong bloody ones are coming up. Anyway, so that's that one. Uh, on to the medics. Every medic should have uh, a medical crate or the pouch and a syringe. There's no fucking ifs or buts. Any of that other shit you only ever use when you're doing a challenge or some shit. There's 
nothing else about it because people are going to need fucking people are relying on you obviously whatever you want to use there i mean I, I, you'll notice the shovels on a lot of mine because i'm doing a challenge so i've got to get 50 kills with it to unlock another knife that i'm probably never going to use obviously all sidearms it doesn't fucking make any difference what sidearm you use most of them are, are, are similar i think on uh where is where is it now on this i've got it on that one yeah i've got the sidearm on that one as a revolver if uh, I get caught short reloading that, which obviously doesn't happen that much with 60 bullets in there. Uh, but that's a that's a two hit kill with uh, if you, uh, obviously you only get six bullets in there. It takes fucking forever to reload, but it's just good there as a fucking backup. Uh, yeah, so uh, where are we? So the the slip slash uh, slip slider. Uh, that's a sniper version. I very fucking rarely use that. I don't even know why I've got that on there. I need to change that. It's just a, it's just a spare bit of the class that I've, that I've never really used, to tell you the truth. A uh, good rate of fire gun, uh, but it's better at closer range, this one. Uh, close to mid. Uh, the auto loading, 8.25 extended. Uh, you've got uh, 16 bullets in there. In there. It's quite good. And it's a very fast fire, a 360 rate of fire there. Um, three bullets kill most of the time. You may need four if you're shooting at a little bit more of a distance. But like I say, it's mid. It's uh, uh, close to mid, really. That one, mid range. I'd say that one is. Uh, I haven't put that as close quarters combat. That shouldn't be close. I need to change the name of that. That's probably an old name. Uh, the slip slider, uh, optical. Probably one of the best guns out there, mate. Uh, this is the one that you want. Uh, the level 10 gun, I can't remember which one it is. I've fucking used it once or something. I just fucking think it's shanked. The level 10 gun's uh, just wank. Yeah, no, nobody ever uses it. Uh, this is the one I use uh, as an overall thing. It's good at any range. Uh, even distance shots. It's three, it's three bullets kill at any, any range, basically. And of course, uh, you've got 26 in a mag. Perfect. Great gun. So that's uh, the best medic gun, basically, uh, for that one. Yeah. Anyway, uh, my favourite gun. Uh, not that one. Well, it is that one, but a different variety of it. Uh, this is what I use uh, for the uh, uh, support, mate. Uh, this is the bollocks. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of LMGs. Uh, all all FPS games I've played, I've always liked a good LMG setup. And this is this is my one. That, uh, it's probably one of my go-to guns. That and the Hell Regal is, like I say, one of one of the go-to guns. Uh, so anyway, uh, I've named them Fixer, Buster, uh, and Shredder. <laughs> so the Buster is the one that I use the most. Uh, I've got 45 service stats with it for Cal, that's 4,500 kills, that's probably the most I've got. Rate of fire, 500. Uh, it's got 100 in the magazine. It's it's a pretty fucking good gun, mate. That's 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 my one to use. A lot of people like to go for the bar. I'm not sure whether it's the bar trench or the bar storm, but I don't see the fucking point in it because it's only got 20 bullets in a mag and... For me, an LMG's got to go in there and you've got to be able to fucking shred the fucking multiple enemies. Where is that? You're going to get two kills tops, really, with, with 20 bullets. Uh, yeah, so, but like I say, yeah, I, th I think it's, I, I think you can kill uh, with two bullets with that, but you've got to be pretty close. But uh, like I say, it's a lot of people's go to gun that way. I don't really rate it. I think one of these two, I think it's that one, is the level 10 gun. Which is okay, but it's the same shit again. The animation in it is the magazine's 26. Uh, these are DLC guns, uh, so you won't probably have them. Another thing, well, like I say, uh, with these, uh, the other ones, the fucking the magazines at the top. So when you're reloading, I mean, when you when you're aiming, you it, when when you're looking uh, when to shoot somebody when you're aiming you automatically go to it you don't think twice about it but with that because the the scope uh is or whatever it is the the, the sight is right it's not dead center compared to where the rest of the gun is because you've got a fucking thing on the side i generally tended to fucking miss a lot of the time so i just 
That doesn't seem very powerful to me, this gun. Uh, and the Lewis, I don't really rate, rate them. But anyway, that's my favourite. So obviously, yeah, the loadout. Ammo crate, must for every support. You've got to have an ammo crate, whatever you do. And obviously, the second one's optional. Uh, Limpet's pretty good to take out uh, a tank. You probably take out a tank with two of them. And of course, you can just uh, pull your ammo crate down and reload your limpet. It usually takes about 10 seconds to go back into your, into your hands. And then, after you've danced around the tank a little bit, throw another one on there and you've got, you, and you've got him. Uh, yeah, I mean, you've got the crossbows and shit, but fucking uh, noobs. Uh, fixer is just the same thing, except I've got to repair tool on there from backing up somebody in, in a tank or whatever. Uh, going, going into a, a, few, a battle with a couple of tanks, you could easily take a couple of tanks out if you've got a, a repair too long, uh, and somebody around about fixing you up. Of course, got a smoke grenade as well. Bang that down. Nobody can see me while I'm repairing it. Obviously, you, you've got a good chance you're going to get hit by fucking tanks firing a, a shell at you. Uh, this is a good. Uh, yeah, so that's the same gun. Uh, I, f I find this this one. I've had a bit of a laugh with this one. This is. Uh, it's got 200 bullets in the gun. Uh, it's all over the place. You can't fucking aim it, but you've got a, you've got a bipod. Of it. So basically, you, you bang, uh, you bang it down on a wall, or you lay down, and you've got a choke, uh, a choke spot where everybody's running through. You can sit at a bit of a distance, uh, like in a castle or whatever, pick pick them off. Uh, it really, really does take them out nice and easy. Uh, as a distance, obviously, it's no sniper, but uh, it's I've had a bit of fun playing with it. Uh, uh, next, uh, we've got the snipers. Uh, so we've got one shot, zoom, mag zoom. Uh, the one shot is what I was telling you about the quick scoping technique. Because uh, obviously, as soon as you uh, ADS, you press your fire, and uh, the gun, uh, the sniper shot automatically have locked onto it. As long as your, your sights are, well, well, uh, are more or less more or less there anyway he's going to snap it onto the target and you've got him it's fucking amazing uh, so yeah i use uh, the carbine for that it's just like a sniper with a with the red dot sight on it so it's like a, an acock basically you know what i mean it's, uh, so yeah so 10 bullets yeah uh, got three service stars for that any sidearm basically what if you if you're gonna want kill, well shoot somebody once with that you're only going to need one bullet out of your sidearm, so it doesn't it doesn't make any difference which sidearm you use. Any any other sidearms, I just don't think I've done much with that, so I thought I'd try and get service star with it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, there's no point in trying to aim up another second shot because that'll take time. You might as well just quickly flip to your sidearm and bang another bullet into them. Dead. Flare gun is the essential for all snipers. Every sniper needs a flare gun, of course. If you got a support class nearby with a box down. Uh, you can spam the area with with flare gun, uh, and then you've got constant UAV up all around you for your whole team, uh, and it's a constant UAV as well. The, you know, it's it's pretty good. Uh, second big one, I, I like to use the gas. Obviously, it's not much of it, and I'm not going to be doing a hell of a lot of running around. Probably a spot of camping with a sniper, obviously. Uh, so th these are more. Uh, uh, not, not the deterrent basically, they're not going to stop people, but they, they're going to alert me that somebody's coming. And of course if somebody's turned up and they've, they've been hit with a, a, a bit of gas, before they got the gas mask on, they've already been injured. I shoot them once with the sniper, they're dead. Uh, I, I, you know, it's, it's at any distance, they're dead. Uh, plus you get two of the gases as well, whereas the other ones, I mean, the... Uh, the incendiary one is, I mean, it's all right because it's going to stop, they're going to have to lie down to stop being on fire, basically. So it's going to, it's going to slow them down a lot. Uh, the trip wire bond will take 80% off them. So unless they're injured, they're going to survive it and they can still get, uh, get you pretty quickly, you know. Uh, uh, gas grenade. Anyway, uh, zoom. I've got the uh, Smilly Marksman. Uh, on zoom, it's four times four. I think that's the max it goes here. So yeah, anyway, four percent with uh, times four with the with the marksman. Yeah, uh, you know, you see the glare when somebody's on top of a mountain somewhere and they're aiming a sniper at you. 
uh, if it's times four magnification or less, you will not get a glare. So people can't see you from a fucking mile away and know there's a sniper there. Anything more than four, you will glare at them. Uh, so uh, you, you'll be glinting your, your sights at them all the time. So people are going to know you're there. So it's good to have a four magnification on because you're a bit more under the radar there. Uh, same any any secondary. Well, I'll try to just build up a few B secondaries. Yeah, same shit's going on there. Uh, Mac Zoom, uh, yeah, I've got this one. Uh, as a Mac Zoom, I don't use it that often, but if you've got some tramp uh, on an AA gun right back in the spawn and you can't get to them, uh, you're going to need something with a bit of zoom on it. So, yeah, uh, times 10 zoom is probably the best you can get in the game. Uh, it's pretty accurate as well, so uh, it's got quite a, quite a bit of distance uh, for the one shot kill, uh, the sweet spot. Uh, yeah, so you need something like that every now and again. You're not going to use it that often. Uh, yeah, so anyway, for other snipers, uh, I think it's either that one or that one. I can't fucking remember because they're both very similar, aren't they? Um, anyway, the, you, one of those two, uh, you don't have to reload every time you're taking a shot. You know, you have to cock the weapon every time with the other snipers with that one you can keep aiming down sight but it hasn't got a sweet spot as you, if you can look at the damage drop at the bottom there there's no sweet spot on that so you're not going to one shot kill him it's not always going to be two shots so yeah if you if, i don't know it's, I, I, I think i have used i have used that one haven't i uh yeah, that was the one i used so yeah i've got over 100 kills that so i must have used it for a bit uh before i realized how good quick scoping was uh, the Martini Henry as well. Uh, yeah, I've got five service stars on that one. So that was qu quite powerful. It's been nerfed a little bit, but it's that's got the closest sweet spot. As you can see down the damage drop at there, uh, you're going to uh, one-shot kill him at the closest range out, out of all the snipers. Uh, other ones, uh, it seems quite a good sniper, that, but it's, that's in the DLC anyway, so you don't need to worry about it. Uh, Oh yeah, because that's going to be kick out some glare. I've got the sniper decoy just to put a few different glares around, so they're not sure exactly where you, I'm going to be shooting them from. Anyway, I can say it's red. I'm never going to fucking use that class. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's your classes. Uh, that's that setup. What we'll do quickly. I'm just going to go through this. I know it's dragging on a bit, but it's worth a watch, mate. Um, I've given these, uh, I, I, this is after, after looking up a few different channels and on the best settings and the optimal settings for uh, Battlefield, uh, I've come up uh, with this. This is all the, the, the things that suit suit me. I mean, it might be different for everybody else, but uh, basically the, the settings that they set as their basic stuff, uh, as the default uh, stuff, aren't the best settings really. So if you want to have a look through these settings and... Uh, see that everything is is the same. Seriously, do it. I mean, obviously your sensitivity is up to you, you know. But 60% uh, is pretty good to get turned on, like so. Uh, control schemes. I have it alternate because I like to drop shots, so I like uh, my R3 button as as a crouch. And I've got uh, I've got the disabled settings on me. What's it called on me? Shoulder buttons as well. So. Uh, I've sorted them around in a PlayStation menu so I can shoot with R1 and aimed at with uh, R2, was it? L1, I can't fucking remember. Yeah, L1. Right, um, advanced, so yeah, most of these tell you what they're doing at the side. But you were saying something about you, you were you were zooming, you were going away with somebody, you were zooming right past them. One of these is, is about slowing down when the enemies, when, when, when an enemy is coming into your sights, your aim will slow down, so you'll get a, a better shot on them, uh, which a lot of people don't have. Um, the stick aiming acceleration is just the amount of acceleration when pushing the aiming the stick all the way, not not the zoom. Oh yeah, that's just so you can uh, it moves yeah, faster without any delay. Set a dead zone, same with that. Uh, that needs to be set to 22. Any less than 22. Because I had a problem with this for a little while. It fucks the graphics up a little bit. Uh, if you're aiming down sight while you're, while you're prone, it'll aim up at the sky or some shit. So I know he sold 22% for that. 
but believe me, all these have been checked and gone through, and uh, they, they were telling me, oh, you can change this if you're going to go, go Skype and get this over. Oh, well, fuck that, I'm not going to be fucking arsing about with that shit. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, your sensitivity's all set up there anyway, so there's no point in fannying around with it all, to tell you the truth. Um, yeah, you want that as well. Uh, decouple aiming from turning, because you don't want to be turning with the bloody plane and try to aim somewhere else at the same time. Oh, that's it, the uniform soldier aiming. Enable use of... Uh, push, uh, procedural aim rate instead of the original preset numbers the procedural aim rate tries to approximate constant movement in 2d screen space regardless of current field of view zoom amount this helps with muscle memory for aiming yeah i think that's the one you need I think that's what you need to switch on make sure that that is on and that one uh, uh you got say 178 if you got 16.9 tv which fucking everybody has which i don't think the others had as default so it's fucking stupid uh, anyway uh moving on to the basic these are all a lot of these are just personal preferences uh, kill log i have kill log as nearby i don't have it as awful as everything because if it's everything you're going to be seeing kills on the other side of the fucking map that have got nothing to do with your current situation. So what you want is all the nearby showing up so you can see if you, the mate that's gone in, into the building before he was died or not. Uh, obviously, uh, you hit colours and stuff. Anyway, I can, you should you can pause. Obviously, just pause the video and see, and see how I've set these. But believe me, it'll change your experience. And you'll, you'll see things on the map clearer and obviously when I'm flying in a, in, in a plane I, I have the map uh, size uh, not the actual size of the map but what what's in the map yeah, it contains a lot more because I'm up high you know so I want to see so it's not rushing below me too fast you know so yeah I've, 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 a lot of thoughts gone into it mate and I've been set up um, and I'll, I'll just leave this on there for you as well so you can quickly see uh, like I say, you know, I probably don't need reload hints or. Oh, it's not that aim. Choose where the infantry weapon aim slows down when the reticle is over the end. Ah, that's that one. There we go. Probably already on, but anyway. Uh, anyway. We don't need the audio. It's just, obviously, you're just going to. Oh, crap. You want it on that, don't you, for your headset, mate? Fucking headset that you've barely used um, uh, oh the field of view I did try uh, maxing that out a little bit but it was like running in a wormhole it was very difficult so I, I've narrowed it down a little bit Got that's probably the best I can play with whereas my vehicle field of view is a little bit higher and uh, so I can see more around me when I'm, when I'm in there and it just seems to work better for me like that you know uh, obviously motion blur off uh, ADS, obviously, as soon as you're aiming down the side, there's no field of view. You, you've got your zoom and shit, you know. Uh, I, I don't know why. I always fuck about changing these fucking colorblind things off. Oh, shit. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, and that's of course, if you wanted to change your, your, any of your buttons around to exactly what you wanted, to, wanted it to be, but yeah, it's not quite funny around with that. Okay, flush, that's it. I'm very fucking tired. This is the third time I've tried to record this and it didn't record at all. Uh, yeah, so hard day's work. So you can appreciate this, you big gay.